Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So I recently uploaded a video for uh, how to install Wiimod on the Steam Deck and it's a hard install, I understand that. Um, and I've got a lot of response saying that people can't install the .NET. So I would like to do an update video for it. See, I've got two Steam Decks. See, this one is the one that I, uh, I normally use, my one. See, it's got Wiimod installed. And yeah, this one just works. So um, the other one, this one, I've, it's connected to my um, capture card. So this is my daughter's one. Um, and actually I've installed it on both. So I'm pretty sure it works because you know, I've installed it on two, two times, actually three, more than two times. So see, this one works. This one is the one that I'm using. All right, so, okay, let's do it on my daughter's one again. I actually um, updated to the Steam OS, so let's go and check the Steam OS. So let's go to big picture mode. Okay, I think uh, we don't need the camera anymore. It's kind of in the way. Okay, all right. So actually, I've already installed it here, uh, but uh, I installed it. How did I install it? Okay, go to settings, system. See this? I'm on. Okay, take a look at this. Okay, this is the old version, three point four point eight. Okay, this doesn't work. Uh, I I tried it on this one, and I think it's the issues that you guys are having. I think. All right. So okay, just hear me out. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna exit big picture mode, and I'm gonna demonstrate how it doesn't work. So okay, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to my my page this is the updated so i'm going to download this stuff do i have it already uh yeah i kind of have it already so i'm going to delete first i'm going to delete the install so we're using the same install files all right just to make sure so i'm going to click here download.net okay and then download um wait probably sorry guys uh download the Wii mod okay Okay, so it's been downloaded, it's downloading, all right. So yeah, just let it let it do its thing. Okay, so add a game, add a non-Steam game, browse. Okay, oh, Wiimod's not done. Oh, now it's done. Okay. Um, okay, Wiimod 11.2, yeah. Oh, this new one, okay. So add selected programs. Okay, so go to the library on the right hand. Oh, Remind is running. Okay, I should I should stop this. Okay, th this is the one I just added, eleven point two. Okay, all right. So properties, compatibility, Proton six point nineteen GE two. I think everyone got this. I think everyone's fine on this step. It's just that the Proton experimental and installing the .NET is the issue, I think. So just wait for it. I really hope you guys get this done. It's amazing. But if you don't, I'm actually, I've actually installed another one. Uh, it's called um, Cheat Happens. Uh, Aura, Aura, I don't know how they say the, pronounce the, the actual thing uh, that's actually easier so i'll have a video on that later it's pretty similar to wiimod um they do have their own uh, pros and cons uh and that's also not free it has a the free version is very limited but that one is a um lifetime all right it's installed that one has a, a lifetime license so you just buy it once for life okay so now what we do change it to um, Proton Experimental. Okay. Okay. Normally, I would actually like change the target to like you could you could this step could be done now or could be done later. So I changed the target to the Wii mod that I just installed. Yeah, but since this is just demo, let's not do that. Okay. So I'm just gonna go directly to Proton Tricks and try to install .NET. So if we can't install .NET, there's no point changing the target and doing all the shortcut things. Just a waste of time. So that step you could like you could do now or you could do it after you've installed .NET. Okay. So let's just wait for the Proton Tricks to work. Takes a bit of time. 
don't panic like i always say don't panic when stuff don't happen all right now it's happening okay so wine config okay i think everyone's doing this some people say uh, it doesn't install on windows 7 it only installs on windows 8 yeah just do it on windows 7 because people say if you install it on windows 8 it's still like it, it installs but the the Wii mod doesn't work okay so run an installer install then downloads so select my uh .NET installer okay so it shouldn't work so just uh watch the bar this part works extracting file works but when you install it the, the bar it, it goes up and then it goes down and goes up and goes down yeah it, it goes all wonky and you know you messed up there it doesn't work but yeah i'll demonstrate it anyway because uh, i want you guys to let me know if this is your your problem if it is then you should do what i'm doing later like i'll do the, the fix later it works for me i'm like, i'm not guaranteed it works for you but it works for me it should work for you we all got the same steam deck there's only one version of steam deck available unless there's something hidden that we don't know I've installed this so many times, <laughs> but even before I got it to work, you know, I've done it like, like, like 50 times. So I'm kind of sick of the .NET, the, the splash screen. <laughs> you guys should try cheat happens. Like when I get the video out, you guys should try that. Cheat happens that you don't need to install .NET. It's so much easier, but it does have its pros and cons. I wish, um, you know, if, if anyone watching this, you know, they've got connection with Cheat Happens, you know, they should sponsor me for a video. <laughs> you know, at least give me a free license. See here, it's going up and down. See here, the progress, it goes up and then it goes, drops back down. Yeah, I think that's, that's when it messes up. It's messed up. See that? Yeah, see, yeah. So if you're if you're experiencing the same thing, I think it's because you're on this version on the OS, on the Steam OS, because that's that's how that's the only way I can replicate it. So it says installation did not succeed, and and all this, right? It should be. I think this is what you're you're getting, because that's what I'm getting. So okay, let me update. So it didn't work, right? So let me update my my steam os all right it's gonna take a bit but i don't want to cut the video because you know this is a, a troubleshoot all right so go system like i'm gonna check for, so it's check my say it's 3.4.8 right so i'm gonna check for updates oh my god why is it why is it all right i think i need to enable developer mode Oh my god. Developer. And then I think it's um show advanced update channels. Yeah, that's this. That's how I can get it. Okay. Stable, yeah, I think it's stable. Uh there should be another one, beta channel or something like that, right? So I have to restart to to get it to work. Settings system i don't have that beta enable developer mode developer show advanced update channels all right maybe i need to restart my machine all right let's just restart the machine don't be lazy okay restart okay let's restart the machine totally okay so Okay, so I'm restarting and I'm not cutting the video, so let it do its thing. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer than usual, but yeah, still got it to work.
I think it's working. Okay, yeah, it is. I can see it booting up. Just a little wonky here. Why is it so small on my screen? Okay, now it's okay. Cool. Let's pray. Okay, so let's go to settings, system. Okay, yeah, here we got stable. Yeah, we're going, we're going for stable and we're going for, oh, we're going for main. Yeah, okay. Oh, this channel is main. Okay, let's apply. Let's apply this. Hopefully it's still 3.4.10. Oh, it's going to take some time. But we have to wait for it because, you know, we are troubleshooting. So, yeah, and then I recently I did a video on um, using Wiimod. You don't really have to use the pro version. You know, you could just set the toggle the hotkeys. Like, that's the only drawback. If, you don't, if you're using the free version, the cheats still work. But you have to, like, map the map the toggle buttons to your steam deck uh manually and i think you have to do it every time because if you don't have the pro version you can't save the profile like save the cheats if you have the pro version there's a, a few benefits like uh every time you like the cheats that you're enabled you toggled on uh the next time you play it it's saved so you don't have to do it every single time that's one of the perks uh the second perk is i think the the remote control with the phone with the phone app that is also very useful if you're playing on the steam deck because you don't have to go back and forth uh on the windows you know the steam deck the, the screen is so yeah that that's another perk um uh, yeah and then the others uh i don't think uh like i haven't found the the pros for the other functions but um yeah they might they might be valuable those are the two that i think is good if you're for the pro but for me uh, maybe not so worth it because i don't one i don't really use a lot of cheats on my games i only do it like after i've beaten the game or when i'm really bored of the game um and you know i could do it another way i don't really need Wii mod i could i could mod it another way manually but um, if you're like lazy and, you know, you don't want to handle all that stuff, you know, you just want something that works and, you know, you can afford the 60 bucks, just, yeah, just pay it. It is, it, it, like, it's worth it if you really use it. it. It just depends if you use it or not. For me, uh, I don't use it that often. So, and I like to try new things, you know, like some, I might want to try safe editors, you know, I'll go online. Now, I like to tinker around a bit, make videos about it. So if I just use Wiimod, yeah, it, it, it's not it's not fun. All right, so yeah, still waiting for the software update. I'm a little bit worried that it's a different update because I just saw when I pressed update, it, it's it's an update from September 12th, so it's pretty recent, pretty recent. So yeah, I hope it's the same update and it still works. It's not broken. Because, you know, it might be broken. Like, when they push out a new OS, it might break some stuff. But, yeah. So, one minute left for the update. And then, I guess it needs a little bit more time to install and then reboot. And then, we should be good to go. Luckily, the installation for the Wiimod and the, the framework 4.8.net is not that long so it won't drag out too long hopefully yeah but that's what you do when you have to troubleshoot it first time when i tried to install dot uh the, sorry not the dot net uh the Wii mod yeah i did way more than this like I, that i had to use um steam tinker launch i'm not sure if you know what that is uh i had to uh you know, upgrade, downgrade, OS, yeah, try a lot of things, yeah. 
And then there's also a launcher. There's a, a Wiimod launcher for Linux. Uh, someone made. Uh, I tried that and it didn't work. And that te- like every time you load that, it like it takes like ten to fifteen minutes. And then I always get stuck. Ten to fifteen minutes later, it, it just doesn't install. And I've tried that like multiple times. Uh, someone uh, told me that they got it to work using that, but uh, I I couldn't get it to work. So maybe it's just me. Okay, almost there, guys. I've been blabbing on for like a few minutes, just waiting for this to update. Keep you guys entertained, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Okay. Steam remote play. Okay, restart. Great. Restart it. Alright, my Steam Deck is now restarting. Could I show you the video of it? Uh, yeah, maybe. Here it is. Uh, a little bit messy here. Okay, bring my other Steam Deck out of the way. Let's just focus here. Oh, you can see my face. I don't want to see, show you my face. Alright, bad idea, bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, it's going up, so yeah, we don't need this anymore. Alright, coming up. Okay, guys, I think we're almost there. Watching a pitch black screen. We're almost there. Come on. Oh my god. There's still another bar to go. <laughs> Come on. You can get there. Um let me know in the comments if you're watching this video. I'm assuming that you've tried the old the, like the, the method and you, you couldn't get the .NET to install. And you know, let me know in the comments how many times you've tried. Like, how many times have you installed .NET and it failed? Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, let me know in the comments. I'd really like to know. And let, also, if you could, let me know if you're paying for Wiimod. Uh, is it worth it to you? Okay. Wait for it. Is this new? I like I don't remember seeing this bar when I update the Steam OS. Is this is this new? I don't remember. I'm seriously thinking about cutting cutting this out. It's so long. I don't know. What do you guys think? But I was like more leaning towards like a single cut. So no editing. So you know, you know how to do it. What's going on. Maybe you could just fast forward this part. Yeah, that would be better. Maybe I'll leave some timestamps. So when it actually starts. So you know. That'll be, yeah. I think that's the better way to do it. So yeah, Wii mod also it doesn't work for every single game. That's kind of a bummer. That's why that's also one one reason why I don't really want to pay for it. You don't know what games work. Yeah, you, know, you gotta try and yeah. You know. I think uh, there's a few reasons why they don't work. One is that um, the game version, like the game version you're using, and the 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 cheats that it supported it doesn't support your version. I think that's one reason. Another reason is I think some games have anti cheat now. And yeah, it just doesn't work, I think. All right, almost there. I think we're like 70, 80%. 
just the final stretch. All right, all right. I think we're at like 95%. Okay. Okay, so restarting the Steam Deck. And hear it beep. Okay, come on. This is taking longer than I'm expecting. But it doesn't take this long when I'm doing it by myself. But, but when you're on camera, I guess it's it just feels longer. And you have to say some stuff. Alright. I think it's there. I think we're there. Whew. How long's the video been? Okay, 21 minutes. 21 long minutes. But yeah, I guess I did have to show you the 3.4.8, that how I messed up. How I think because I think that's how everyone is messing up. But some people told me that like they're on the latest version already. I don't know. So that's kind of worries me a little bit too. Okay, so maybe I Okay, unplug it from the capture card. Because it's like kinda of looks like it's it's not working, kind of. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's working, it's working. It's working. I almost hard reset my Steam Deck, and then when I unplugged it, it's working. See the installing update? Yeah. I almost panicked, you know, when stuff don't work, or like when it like, seems like it's frozen, you panic and you hard reset and you thought, I almost did that. Okay, I don't know why it's so small now. Like, I think maybe it's because it's going through the capture card and, you know, some signal went wrong. Why it's so small. Okay. Finally. Finally. So now it's 22 minutes in. Okay, let's check our Steam OS. All right, settings, system. Oh my god, we're on 3.6? No wonder why... Oh my god, we're on a newest version now. Why is that? So what happened to my 3.4.10? Oh, we're, we're probably in trouble. Main. Oh shit, I think I should have done stable. I think that's the one I should have went for. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're going to try to work it. Let's see if it works on 3.6. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. If it doesn't, I'll probably have to revert back to 3.4.8. And then... And then I'll probably have to do it again. So I have to go through that painful all right, so this oh okay, these are new. Oh my god, three point six. I didn't know they had three point six. Oh hibernate and all this. Alright, let's not get carried away. Let's not get carried away. Okay, let's go to my Steam. Okay, I'm gonna delete this. It didn't work, right? So let's start fresh. Let's start fresh. Remove. Okay. Add a game. Add a non Steam game. Browse. Uh downloads. Okay, we mod. Add selected program. Okay, it's here. Proton. I'm gonna change it to six point nineteen. Do I still have it? Yeah, here it is. GE two. Okay, and then let's just install this first. Okay, let's not get carried away. It might work on three point six. If it does, um, I'll still upload this video, and then. I'll try it again on, I, the procedure is the same, it's just that you, you don't go to main, the version, you go to stable. 
<laughs> and then you update to three. Yeah, it's the same. If you don't want to go on to 3.6, because 3.6, I don't know, it might have some bugs. It might. You never know. So, installing Wiimod. So I already have it here, actually, Wiimod. This one is successful. I've successfully installed this one. This is just another one I'm trying, showing you guys. See this one? It's, it, uh, this one is Proptis. It's on Proton Experimental. And, okay, let's not, let's not get carried away. Let's do this first. Okay, so this is installed. I'm going to change it back to Proton Experimental. Okay, and then I'm going to go into Proton Tricks. Okay, and then I'm going to go to this one, 8.11. Not this one. This one is the one that I already installed. This one is the one I'm using now. That's how I separate them. Okay, wait for the Proton Experimental. No wonder why that uh, OS was updating so long. It's updating to 3.6. Oh my god. I might try it out, see if there's any bugs. Okay, so default wine prefix. Okay, let's minimize this. Run wine config. Uh, how many times have I done it now? Okay, Windows 10, change it to Windows 7. Apply. Okay. Run uninstaller. Okay. Okay, and then click install here. Go to my downloads folder, select exe, install the .NET. All right, moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. So if you remember, not so long ago, I was on Steam OS 3.4.8, and I was at this exact same spot installing the .NET 4.8 framework thing, and it didn't work, all right? You remember that, right? So now, moments later, I'm on Steam OS 3.6. I'm pretty sure it's the latest one. And I'm on the same same spot installing .NET Framework 4.8. And let's see if it works. If it doesn't, oh my god, I'm gonna have to restart this video. Okay, continue. I've read install. Okay. So as you remember, this bar, if it messes up, it goes up and then it goes down, it goes up and goes down. Yeah, that's when you know it's not really working. Okay, let's see if it works this time for me. Oh my god, did you see that? It dropped. I'm kind of worried now. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> if it messes up, should I still upload this video? I think it's kind of funny that we messed up here. Oh, it did not succeed. So I'm thinking that's why a lot of people don't succeed. Maybe it's because I got lucky and it only works on 3.4.10. Is that is that what I'm thinking now? I'm thinking that. All right, so should I continue? Okay, I'm just going to continue. Uh, how do I continue? All right, I have to downgrade and then upgrade. Oh my God, it's going to take a long time. Okay, I'm going to shut down first. I'm going to shut down and then I'm going to downgrade my version. So let's open the camera. Hopefully you don't see my face. Yeah. Okay, let me put on my headphone. Okay. Yeah, you can still see my face there. So yeah, let's screw it. Okay, so what you do is you hold down the uh you hold down the three dots and then you put power on. All right, this is what you do. And you hold and you let go of the power button, but you keep holding on to the three dots until the 
until the logo pops up, I guess. But it's not popping up. I'm kind of worried. Come on. Oh, is it because I got the is it because I got the capture card connected? Nope, not working. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, oh, what? Got something, and then I messed up. I think. Okay. What the hell? I think I pressed too many times. Okay, here it is. Okay, so you get, the current one is the one that I, I, that current OS. So there's current and there's, there's previous B. So I think I'm going to go to previous and it just runs code. And then you should be back onto your old Steam OS, like the one previously. So you can go back one step. Hopefully, if I can't, then I'm pretty screwed. Oh, no, I still got another Steam Deck that I could still try it on. But I can't believe I messed up choosing the main. I should have chose... But when I upgraded the Steam OS, I should have chose stable. Yeah, and I messed up there. Okay, this is going to be a one long video, guys. But that's what happens when you want to get something done. You do it persistently. You do it persistently. Okay, what's it saying? Um, a start job is running for Jupyter controller firmware update service. All right, and it's a two minute update. Okay. So yeah, just let it do its thing, I think. Nothing we can do right now. Hopefully it reverts back to 3.4.8. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Okay, so it's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. A little bit bright. A little bit bright. Okay, update complete. Launching Steam, that's what it says. All right, I think we're done. Okay, let me connect it back to my um, capture card. Uh, then turn off the camera. We don't need that anymore. Okay, come on, guys. Steam. Settings. System. Oh, what? We're on 3.10. That's great. Maybe because I did update it to 3.10 before, and then I downgrade, and then I went upgrade again. So, yeah, I think the downside is I don't think I can go back to 3.4.8 anymore. I think, I've, uh, you know. All right. So, let's do it. Let's, let's go to desktop mode and try installing it again. All right. Oh, the lengths I go for you guys. All right. All right. But yeah, if it works, it, it, it doesn't matter. If it doesn't, yeah, it's crap. All right. So manage, remove non-Steam game. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start fresh again. Okay. Add a game, add a non-Steam game. Browse. Downloads. Remod, you know the drill by now, right? You can do it faster. You'll probably do it faster than me. Okay, change the proton 6.19. Come on, 6.19 GE2. Play. Okay. So.
So I think it's yeah, I think it's because I was on three point four eight and then um I updated to three point four point ten and then I installed VMod, it worked, but I did that off camera. And then I wanted to prove to you that I did it. So I re I downgraded to three point four point eight and then I went on camera to do it. And then I accidentally updated to three point six and then I downgraded and then it just went back to 3.4.10. So yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it like it remembers your old one. Like it, maybe it stores it somewhere. Your old firmware. When you upgrade, every time you upgrade to a new one, it stores the old one somewhere. And then when you revert it, it just gets... Okay, enough blabbing. Now it's installed. Go to properties. Change to Proton Experimental. Okay. Open Proton Tricks. What the hell? Maybe... Is it this one? Oh, I didn't read that message. Normally that happens when you, like, you choose the wrong Proton. Or, or you know, if you got your map to a weird Proton, like, uh, uh, proton, uh, what's that called? Steam Tinker Launch. And you just can't get into the proton i don't know but then it like let me went it let me go through so yeah okay maybe it's something to do with the no i'm on three point okay it's works so yeah let's forget about that select wine default and then run wine config okay so this is the third time on this video i'm doing this windows 7 okay run an installer okay Moment of truth again, guys. Again. Okay. You're lucky I'm speeding this up. You're lucky. All right. Let's try it. Fingers crossed. How long has it been? Oh, 37 minutes. My God. This is going to be a long video. Hopefully it works this time. If it doesn't, like, I don't know what else I could say. Like, if you're following this guide and it doesn't work for you, like I don't think I have anything else that I could provide you. If it still doesn't work, man. Yeah. Uh, just try. If you if you know, just do something different. Yeah, you know, try. That's how I do it. All right. Almost there. Continue. Yep, continue and then agree. Yes, I agree. I agreed so many times. You're just not letting me install. Okay, moment of truth. Come on, just go up, don't go back down. That's what we're looking for, right? It's going up. I'm so scared it goes back down. Come on. Oh my God. Did you see that? Can I still get it to work? Oh my God. Not, not looking great. Not looking great. Oh shit. Didn't work. Is it because I didn't change the EXE? I don't think that matters. Oh, I'm traumatized. Where's my experimental? Okay. All right, let's do it one more time. Manage, remove. Okay, let's do it the proper way where I change everything and all that. Okay, add non Steam game. Browse. Okay. 
You see all my energy is gone. My heart just sunk. Why did it work the other time? And it didn't work this time when I'm recording. What's going on? What's going on? See this one? This one, like, I've installed it. So play, I'll play this one. This one works fine. This one's just installing, don't worry. I'm running the other one. They're both running at the same time. See this? This one's the one that's working. See? See this? It works. So. Okay, I'm going to stop this first. Okay. So this one's already done. This one's done installing. Okay, so let's try. Okay, let's let's do it the normal way, where I go into and change the dot steam 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 apps compact data just now. Okay, this one prefix drive C users steam user app data local we mod. Yeah, this is the location we need. Let me get my keyboard. I'm gonna copy it. Yeah. Okay. Browse. Okay. So vmod.exe quotation. Browse. Oh no, we don't need browse. We just paste. We just paste. Compatibility. We're gonna change it back to a product experimental. Okay. Okay, let's run it first. Run it one time. This is how I did it uh, like previously on the previous video. Let's do all the steps. Make sure make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, this one I can just quit. Okay, so yeah, we, we loaded Wiimod, but um yeah, it doesn't have the dot net. That's normal. Okay, let's quit out the Proton Tricks. Okay, now let's go into Proton Tricks again. But it does not appear to have access to the foreign directory. Oh, I know what this means. Yeah, this means it's just uh, I, because I don't have um, because I don't have flat seal. I don't didn't give permission on this. I think to access my SD card. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, select default wine prefix, run wine config. Is this the fourth time? Maybe. I lost count. Windows 7, apply. Okay. Run an installer. <clears throat> Install. Okay. Downloads. All right. I'm also thinking, is it because the Wii mod is 8.11.2? Because the last time I installed it was 8.11.1, I think. I think. Okay, let's try to open this. Let's open another instant. Let's go into this Wii mod. Let's check the version. Let's check the version. Let's close this for now. Okay, run an installer. Oh no, this one's on 1.1.2. So yeah, I guess it's okay. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. Cancel. Cancel, okay. Oh, did I close all the... Oh, shoot. Yeah, I got carried away. Did I? Yeah, I think I did. I'll close them all. Okay, let's sorry about that. It happens when you install it so many times, man. All right. So yeah, I guess it's this we're both updated. Okay. Okay, let's double check the wine config again. Just to make sure. Okay, Windows 7, good. Uninstaller. 
install programs okay all right if this doesn't work uh, not much i can do just wait for it like i always have all right so i think continue is the logical step okay come on so if this doesn't work i think the next thing i could do is just uh, format my steam deck and then go to maybe it's like i'm updating the steam os so much like it's already corrupted maybe maybe yeah but that's a little extreme don't you think All right come on push through don't go down push 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 it might work actually i'm 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 pretty confident this time come on push through push through yes all right see that i think it's okay i think the steps really matter like maybe you really do have to see that all right so yeah the, i think you really need to do all those steps like i was lazy and i didn't uh one thing i didn't do is when i installed remod i didn't change the target target exe that's one thing i didn't do and then another thing i didn't do is i didn't test it out on proton experimental like i didn't run it first so i, I run it first and it says oh you still need net you do that and then you close it and then you install net i think that's what that's i think that's all i can remember i did that's different see it works now i can log in oh i'm so glad i got that through so how long has it been oh 47 minutes 48 all right it's okay so I hope this video helped you out. If you're having problems, uh, I'll leave some timestamps. You probably don't have to go through all that, that 40 minutes, but yeah, um, definitely leave a like and subscribe guys, you know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.